Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here with Mr. Furious P. What's up guys? We're here in where? Long Island. Long Island, New York. That's right. We uh, we had a good time filming here, but now we got a, we got a party. We got to celebrate, right? Well, I got beers. You got beers, but yeah. like, you know what we forgot? Yeah. That these are not twist stuff. These are not twist stuff. That means that we got to find alternative methods to open these beers. I'm about to show you five different ways you can open a beer bottle without an opener. Did that hurt your finger? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. This is one that like, this is like, I don't know. I even know this one. That's why I'm showing it. Alex is even explaining it. Using a simple lighter. Use this finger uh -huh. and that'll keep it locked under that little lip. Yeah, that's exactly Then a lot it. of people, what they try to do is they try to lift straight up and straight up does nothing. What you have to do is you have to take this and scoop outward. There we go. Grab it, scoop Ooh, outward, and it flies an awesome off. One. That was really impressive, Alex. Thanks. Good for you. Easy as that. This one is a modern take on a classic, if you've ever heard of the term sabering. I've, I've done the sabering of a champagne bottle before. Which is what? Which is like, you get a saber and you like, you like cut off like, the the cork of a bottle plus the top of uh, of the actual like bottle. This time we don't want to cut off the glass. Why? I believe two is actually the perfect thickness. If you're in a hotel and you got beers, you're like, I don't have a I don't have a room key. Or I guess you could do this with credit cards too. You might ruin your credit cards. Right. But I think two is the perfect thickness. And then what you're gonna do is you hold it like this, so you got a good grip on it. Put it up flat against the beer bottle and swipe pretty fast and the top should just pop off. Right, here we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this isn't working. Oh, I just <laughs> I totally destroyed the card. <laughs> Where did you hear about this hack, Alex? I'm gonna try this again. There you go. And you actually need one room key because it's, it's very thin. Nice, nice. <laughs> We've already learned how to open up bottles of beer with one method. Why are we continuing this nonsense and just drink the beers? The next method will actually probably win you at least a buck at the bar. So this one's a really cool one because you will be opening a bottle with a buck. You fold it this way. Then all you have to do is roll it as tight as possible. You bend this in half Ooh. like this. Now this is really, really solid. Uh -huh. Using the same method you do for the for the lighter one, uh -huh. just hold it like this, use it to fry, uh -huh. you'll be able to open a bottle the same way. You want me to try this? You try. Open a beer with a dollar bill. Are you sure this works? Uh-huh. And if you can't do it, I'll do it. No excuses. Yeah. You might have to work it around a tiny bit, but once you get it. There you go. You can open. You with did. The bill. It tore a little when you were trying it, but. What do you mean? Look at you. But it's fine. It just tears a little on the side. If it gets roughed up, it'll get roughed up on the edges, but that is how you open a beer with a dollar bill. This one is not that difficult, but once you open one, it's a little bit harder. You might have to use another method to open another one. This is why it's good to learn multiple methods because this one, you actually use a beer to open a beer. Same kind of way as like the lighter thing where you put the lip of this one yeah. under this one. Is that gonna spill? No, because this one's not gonna open. Oh. Just twist up. Whoa. Well, the other bottle didn't do anything. No, that's why I said, you're still gonna need to know the other methods to now open this one. <laughs> right on. I did tell you guys that I was gonna show you five different methods and that was four. That's because Pete goes, I have one, I have a secret. He hasn't even shown me this method, so I'm very curious. I'm just gonna go ahead and let him show you and me and then maybe I'll even try it if I learn something new. All right, this method might shock you, but for some of you guys, you guys might know this method. I call it, the bottle opener method. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> watch, watch. Ooh. Ah. Ah. 
<laughs> I mean, I, I didn't know he was doing that. <laughs> but there you go. That's, that's how to open a bottle five different ways. I was going to say five different ways without a bottle opener. That's how you open a bottle five different ways. Comment down below which one is your favorite. I think I know which one they're going to call that. Yeah. I'll see you guys. I'll see you next time. See ya.